In this example, the zero order correlation is near zero, and when you control for a third variable, it increases in magnitude in the same direction that it was near zero to. Basically, with suppressor effects, if the correlation is exactly zero to start with, it's got nowhere to go. And so in this case, the correlation starts at negative and then increases. So to analyze these data, go into Analyze, Correlate, Partial, and this time here, I'm going to include both the zero order and the partial correlations. The independent variable self-esteem and antisocial behavior goes in the variables box, and narcissism goes into controlling four. And then click on options, and I'm going to get the zero order correlations. Click continue, click OK. And we can see here that self-esteem has a zero order correlation of negative 0.02 and is not significant statistically. However, the partial correlation between self-esteem and antisocial behavior controlling for the effects of narcissism is now negative 0.359, and it's statistically significant. So this is a different type of suppressor effect than the first one, because in this case, the correlation hasn't flipped in direction. It was negative in a very slight magnitude, not significant, and now it is statistically significant. So that is the association between self-esteem and antisocial behavior, controlling for the effects of narcissism on both self-esteem and antisocial behavior.